Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Eric from the Universal Power Hour. This is uh, a brand new channel and um, hopefully you guys will come to enjoy it, be enlightened, encouraged, and uplifted by things that are said here, um, you know, from time to time. Anyway, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys today um, and come to you from um, a very personal point of view and also a very transparent point of view. So, today, it is ironic that today is the day that I'm sort of hitting rock bottom today. Um, you know, I'm going to get you guys to you know, follow my journey as I make videos. I'm going to try to make them very frequently, you know, uh, every so often, maybe every day. But I've hit rock bottom. I've had a major shift in my life today. Well, actually last night and today. Um, I've had to make a very, very, very hard decision. And uh, basically, it sort of left me at rock bottom. And, uh, you know, this decision that I've had to make, that I've had to make, it's been on me for months now, months, months, even even a couple of years, it's just, it's just been nagging at me and nagging at me and nagging at me, but uh, all I can say that uh, it must be either God trying to show me something, show me a way that I should go or a way that I shouldn't go, but either way, What I'm going through today, I'm in a major transition right as we speak. And I've been contemplating uh, doing some videos forever, but I figure, why not today? You know, what do I have to lose? Maybe somebody is going through something other than me. Maybe uh, what I say can help somebody. So uh, today I want to talk to you about the law of polarity, polar opposites. Now, a lot of people always speak about the law of attraction. A lot of people always speak about that, the law of attraction, you know, and be positive and be happy and what you put out is what comes back to you, what's going to mirror you and how you treat people um, is going to be mirrored in them, it's going to be shown back to you by the way they treat you, and uh, a lot of stuff comes with the law of attraction. And everybody, everybody, as I look on YouTube, everybody is speaking about about the law of attraction. What is great? It's great. It's really great that a lot of people are becoming awakened. They're becoming self-aware of who they are, and they're on. A heightened energy level and that they're finally starting to resonate with the source within them and know that God is within them and that all they have to do is go within to find all the answers but sometimes that's hard that's hard because you don't understand which way life is pulling you sometimes. And when we want to take the path of least resistance, sometimes it's just hard. It's challenging to take the path of least resistance because our mind wants us to play this game and our minds wants us to be in resistance of what's really going on. 
you know, uh, because uh, when we take the path of least resistance and when we let go, when we surrender and we take that path, somehow things just start to line up and work out. But we're so used to following our minds and what our mind is telling us to do. You see, the problem is we've gotten so far away from our spirit and now we lean on our mind for everything. You see, our spirit is the thing that was meant to guide us, not our minds. Our minds were meant to do other jobs, analytical jobs and things like that, but not to lead us, not to guide us because our mind is only gonna to wanna to do what's comfortable for it. Our spirit always has our best interests in mind and it's always looking to put us on the right path. That is, if we're willing to listen, to open our hearts, to open our minds to just really, really listen and hear what it's saying. But basically, what is happening today with me, it, it really, really resonates with the law of polar opposites. I guess you would call that the brother or the sister of the law of attraction. So the law of polar opposites state that for you to get what you desire, you have to first have what you don't desire. You have to live in that for a little bit until you come to understand that you're standing in what you don't desire. So instead of thinking more about what you don't desire, because you're never, you're never ever more sure, more clearer about what you do desire until you're standing in a space of what you don't desire. So when you're standing in that space of what you don't desire, it is your duty to come back to one and realize, man, this is only gonna bring me more of what I don't desire. Let me try my best to put my thoughts into what I do desire. And this is very, very challenging. It's very, very challenging. I'm not saying that it's easy because obviously choices that I've made and some things that I've done have led me here today. Here at rock bottom. And I won't really go into what rock bottom is right now, but hopefully you will go on this journey with me through the videos and hopefully a little later when I'm at another place in my life I can tell you about what this rock bottom was for me I can tell you all about it but um yeah so uh, basically if you're at rock bottom then what you desire is your greatest desires because yeah. I'm here right now at rock bottom and I don't have my desires. So I'm sitting at a point that is polar opposite from what I desire. The law of polar opposites state that you will get what you truly don't desire before you will ever get what you do desire. And think about it, it makes sense. Because how would you ever know what you do desire unless you're standing at a point or in a space of what you don't desire? This is truth. Not my truth, but universal truth. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a lot of things on here. I just, I didn't want to get too deep today. But 
I just wanted you to know, for those of you out there who are going through something, I don't know what you're going through, but whatever you're going through, even if you're at your rock bottom, and this may seem sound cliche or whatever, but you're on your way up. You're on your way up. Because when you're sitting down, you, you have to stand up. Well, you don't have to stand up, but should you make the choice to stand up, then the universe is always on your side. It'll send you signs. It will send you guidance. But you have to look within because there can never, ever be an external fix for an internal problem. So, I just want everybody to know that you have to be standing in a place of what you don't desire, what you don't want before you can ever stand in a place of what you do desire, what you do want. And when you're standing in that place of what you don't desire, the best thing to do, the best thing that you can do if you don't know how to move left or right or wherever you don't know what move to make or where to go the best thing that you can do is start to be grateful even for the situation that you're in even for rock bottom be grateful for it because even in rock bottom you're learning something you're learning something you're gaining strength it may hurt it may hurt but I mean think about it when we when we lift weights, when we're trying to break down muscle so we can break down muscle fibers so we can build up muscle, it hurts. It's painful. But it's for our greater good because that is what we're in there for to break down so we can heal and build back up. So, uh, a little about me. I'm a. I've been a personal trainer for years, and also on this channel, you will hear me mix in a lot of things with weight loss and goals and motivation and things like that. I'll give you a lot of tips and things like that on on how to do, what to do. You know, anybody who's ever been discouraged by weight loss or you know trying to do it, whatever. You know. Uh, you know, I want you guys to comment and ultimately subscribe because I'm going to take you on my journey so that on my way up, you can rise with me. And we all will rise. So look, I want to leave you with this. When there's no enemy on the inside, then the enemy on the outside cannot harm you. When there's no enemy on the inside, or when there's no enemy within, then the enemy on the outside can do you no harm. Think about that. Go within. Get rid of that enemy within then everything will flow on the outside. Hey, thanks for listening. And I'll meet you on the flip side.